Mercedes McCambridge, a talented actress, made a significant mark in the film industry with her powerful voice and strong screen presence. She won an Academy Award for her role in All the King's Men and was known for her versatility in both radio and film. Her distinctive voice brought to life the character of the demon in The Exorcist, showcasing her unique skill set and leaving a lasting impression on audiences and the industry alike. Mercedes McCambridge was a talented actress known for her strong voice and powerful presence on screen. She starred in many films and shows, but which role do you think was the most important in her career? Maybe you have a story about how her performances touched your life or a memory that makes you smile when you think of her. We're eager to hear about your favorite moments with Mercedes McCambridge, so please share them with us. Stay tuned because we have some surprising and touching stories about her that you won't want to miss. Mercedes McCambridge was a talented actress born on March 16, 1916, in Joliet, Illinois. Growing up, she was influenced by her family's love for the arts. Her mother was a keen pianist, which exposed Mercedes to creative expression from a young age. She found her passion for acting during her school years and participated in various plays. Her talent was recognized early, and she received encouragement to pursue acting as a career. After high school, she attended Mundelein College in Chicago, where she further honed her acting skills. Her dedication and natural ability led her to work in radio, which was a popular medium at the time. This experience was crucial in developing her distinctive voice, which later became one of her trademarks in the film industry. Her early work in radio and theater set the foundation for her successful career in movies and television. Mercedes McCambridge was a talented actress known for her strong voice and powerful on-screen presence. She started in radio and moved to film where she made a significant mark. Her role in All the King's Men won her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. She was also the voice of the demon in The Exorcist, showing her range and skill. Her work helped pave the way for future voice actors and showed that voice performance is as important as on-screen acting. She took on roles that were challenging and different, which made her stand out in Hollywood. Her dedication to her craft and her ability to take on diverse roles made her a respected figure in the film industry. Her influence continues as actors cite her performances as inspirational and her films are still watched and appreciated today. Mercedes McCambridge found her love for acting early in life. As a young girl, she was fascinated by the power of voice and storytelling. Her defining moment came during a school play where she felt the thrill of performance and the joy of audience engagement. This experience sparked her interest in acting as a career. She pursued this path with determination, leading to a successful career in radio, film, and television, where she used her distinctive voice to bring a wide range of characters to life. Her passion for acting was evident in every role she played, making her one of the most respected actors of her time. Mercedes McCambridge earned her place in film history when she won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her role in All the King's Men, becoming the 33rd actress to receive this honor. Her talent shone again in Touch of Evil, where she played a gang leader alongside fellow Oscar winners Orson Welles and Charlton Heston, and nominees Marlene Dietrich, Janet Lee, and Akim Tamaroff. In a twist of events, her voice acting as the demon in The Exorcist was initially uncredited, overshadowing Linda Blair's nomination for Best Supporting Actress. The revelation of McCambridge's contribution to the role sparked controversy and ultimately affected Blair's chance of winning the award. Mercedes McCambridge faced tough times when she started her acting career. She had little money, and people in the movie business did not believe she could succeed. But she did not give up. She used her voice acting skills to get radio work. This helped her earn money and practice her acting. Her strong will and smart thinking helped her become a successful actress. She showed that even when things are hard, you can find ways to move forward and reach your goals. Mercedes McCambridge made her film debut as Sadie Burke in All the King's Men, a role that showcased her strong screen presence. Her performance as the demon in The Exorcist is unforgettable, especially since she initially rejected the novel due to its content. In Giant, she played Les Benedict, contributing to a film that became a top earner for Warner Brothers, a record it held until The Exorcist was released. 
McCambridge's talent shone through in both films, earning her a place in movie history. Mercedes McCambridge's career had several significant moments. Her role in All the King's Men won her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, which was a major turning point. This success led to more roles in films like Giant and Touch of Evil. Her unique voice was also used for The Demon and The Exorcist, showing her range and skill. People who worked with her admired her ability to fully become her characters and her powerful presence on screen. Critics praise her for her strong performances and her ability to hold her own alongside other great actors. These roles and her talent made her a respected figure in the film industry. Mercedes McCambridge was a talented actress known for her strong voice and powerful screen presence. Despite her success, she faced the same pressures many in the acting profession experience, such as the expectation to maintain a youthful appearance. This pressure is common in the industry, where aging can lead to fewer roles and can be challenging for actors. McCambridge also struggled with personal issues, including alcoholism and a turbulent relationship with her son. Her life shows the difficulties actors can face behind the glamour, including the fight to stay relevant and personal battles that are often hidden from the public eye. Mercedes McCambridge was known for her strong voice and presence in acting. She approached her roles with deep understanding and commitment, often drawing from her own life to bring authenticity to her characters. Her personal struggles and triumphs informed her performances, allowing her to connect with audiences on a human level. She believed in the power of voice and speech, using her distinctive tone to convey complex emotions and thoughts. Her work reflects a dedication to truth and storytelling and a belief in the emotional power of cinema. Mercedes McCambridge showed her range as an actress in three notable roles. And suddenly, last summer, she played Mistress Holly and was voiced by Claude Daltys in the French version. Her work in The Exorcist as the voice of the demon went unrecognized at first, leading to a mix-up where she accidentally drove off in someone else's car. In Giant, she portrayed Les Benedict and wore a hat previously owned by Gary Cooper, which added authenticity to her role as a Texan rancher. This hat, marked by its history and Cooper's own use, became a symbol of her character's roots and was even coveted by James Dean. McCambridge's experiences on set and the stories behind the scenes add depth to her performances and the characters she brought to life. Mercedes McCambridge was a talented actress known for her strong voice and powerful screen presence. She won an Academy Award for her role in All the King's Men and was celebrated for her work in radio, stage, and film. Her voice acting as the demon in The Exorcist set a high standard for voiceover performance. Experts say she had a unique ability to bring depth to her characters, influencing actors to explore beyond surface level portrayals. Her dedication to her craft inspired many to pursue acting with passion and authenticity. She showed that a woman could be both a lead and a character actor, opening doors for future generations in the industry. Mercedes McCambridge showed her dedication to realism in her role as Madame Dusbois and Marquis de Sades Justine. She took a bold step by slapping Ramana Power for real during a scene to capture an authentic reaction. This decision was made in consultation with the director, Jessis Franco, and it resulted in a powerful performance that left an impression on the audience. Her work was recognized in the book Killer Tomatoes' 15 Tough Film Dames by Ray Hagen and Laura Wagner, highlighting her strong presence in film. In Johnny Guitar, McCambridge played Emma Small, and her off-screen rivalry with Joan Crawford mirrored the on-screen tension, adding to the film's dynamic. The crew and cast were divided, having to pick sides, which director Nicholas Ray believed helped make the movie a success. This behind-the-scenes conflict contributed to the film's intensity and ultimately its financial success. Mercedes McCambridge was a dedicated actress known for her strong voice and powerful screen presence. Away from the spotlight, she was deeply committed to helping others. She supported various charities and was particularly passionate about issues related to addiction drawing from her own experiences to help those struggling with similar challenges. Her work in this area was not just about giving money, but also about giving her time and voice to raise awareness and support. She believed in the power of recovery and dedicated herself to helping people find their path to a better life. 
her personal struggles, and triumphs greatly influenced her professional choices, often leading her to roles that reflected her deep understanding of human complexity and resilience. Mercedes McCambridge brought unique characters to life on screen. In the film Giant, she wore a hat that Gary Cooper gave her, adding a personal touch to her role. While portraying the voice of the demon in The Exorcist, she never met co-star Linda Blair, yet her performance left a lasting impression. Her role as Luz Benedict in Giant was memorable, and James Dean, her co-star, affectionately called her Madama off-screen, a name his character used for her in the film. These details highlight her presence in the film industry and the relationships she had with her fellow actors. Mercedes McCambridge was a talented actress known for her strong voice and powerful screen presence. She gave life to many characters and earned respect in her field. For those starting out, she advised to always be true to the role and to oneself. She believed in hard work, dedication, and honesty in one's craft. Her guidance was to study, practice, and never stop learning. She encouraged new actors to take risks and be patient, as success in acting does not come overnight. Her own career showed that with perseverance, one can achieve great things. As for her future, she hoped to continue acting and sharing her experience with the next generation, guiding them to find their own path in the acting world. Mercedes McCambridge shared a memorable journey to the set of Suddenly last summer with co-star Montgomery Clift. They often passed by Wormwood Scrubs Prison, where Clift would shout to the inmates. In The Exorcist, her voice brought the demon to life leading to a legal battle with Warner Brothers for recognition. Her talent also shone in the Mercury Theater, where she worked with Agnes Moorhead, and later appeared on the television show Bewitched as Carlotta, a character at odds with Endora. Mercedes McCambridge was a dedicated actress whose work left a strong impression on the entertainment industry. Her journey was filled with a love for acting, a drive to innovate, and a commitment to her craft that inspired many. She faced challenges head-on, always pushing forward with a creative spirit and a belief in the power of hard work. Her performances won her acclaim and respect, showing how creativity and perseverance can lead to success and admiration. Her story encourages us all to stay true to our passions and to keep striving no matter the obstacles. Mercedes McCambridge showed her acting skills in the film Suddenly last summer as Mistress Holly. For Italian audiences, her voice was provided by Rosetta Calavetta. In another role as Luz Benedict in Giant, she faced a tough time when the Texas heat caused her makeup to melt and led to a skin infection. Her personal life faced tragedy when her son, John Lawrence Fifield, who was adopted by Fletcher Markle, committed a crime that ended his family's lives and his own after losing his job due to illegal activities. Mercedes McCambridge, known for her strong voice and presence, found her name reflected in her role as Carlotta in the television show where she played a character sharing her first name. Her work in The Exorcist led to a legal battle over credit for her role, which was initially omitted. The dispute highlighted the challenges actors can face with recognition. Despite these issues, she continued to show dedication to her craft, as seen in Giant where she arrived on set ready to work even after an injury, contrasting with the less professional behavior of her co-star. Her commitment to acting shines through these experiences, showcasing her resilience and passion for the art. Mercedes McCambridge faced tough times on the set of Johnny Guitar with co-star Joan Crawford. Their disagreements went beyond the cameras, leading to an incident where Crawford, in anger, threw McCambridge's costumes along a highway, causing the team to gather them up. Despite health challenges like bronchitis, McCambridge turned it into a strength for her role in The Exorcist, using her raspy breathing to add depth to the demon's voice. At the age of 25, she welcomed her son, John Lawrence Fifield, on Christmas Day in 1941, with her first husband, William Fifield. Mercedes McCambridge, a talented actress, gave a powerful performance as Sadie Burke in All the King's Men, which earned her an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. This role stood out in the year it was awarded because it was the only one from a film that was also a nominee for Best Picture. Her life and career are detailed in the, the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, where her story is told across two pages. Beyond her professional achievements, she was the grandmother to Suzanne Marie Markle, 
who was born on February 8, 1978, and passed away on November 16, 1987. McCambridge's life, both on and off the screen, left a lasting impression on those who knew her and enjoyed her work. Mercedes McCambridge took on the chilling role of the demon and the exorcist with a dedication that pushed her to extreme measures. She altered her voice by swallowing raw eggs and smoking heavily. Her past battles with alcohol led her to drink whiskey during the recording to further distort her voice and match the demon's crazed state. She even had a priest present for support as she sacrificed her sobriety for the role. To sound more like a demon fighting its bonds, she was tied to a chair, which made her performance even more terrifying. In All the King's Men, McCambridge's fiery temper landed her the role of Sadie Burke. Frustrated with being made to wait during auditions, she confronted the producers and left. Her genuine anger impressed them so much that they called her back to offer her the part. While filming Giant, McCambridge, and the cast were given old cars to use. James Dean, upset with his vehicle, acted out until the studio confiscated his car. He then convinced McCambridge to help him shoot rabbits from the hood of her car, leading the studio to take her car away as well. Her experiences on set with Dean showed a side of Hollywood life where even the actor's off-screen actions could stir up trouble. Mercedes McCambridge showed her acting skills in the Concorde. Airport 79 is Nellie, sharing the screen with notable actors like George Kennedy and Jose Fur, who, like her, had won Oscars. She also worked alongside talented Oscar nominees Eddie Albert and Cicely Tyson. Her role as Sadie Burke in All the King's Men marked a significant start to her film career, earning her an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. This achievement placed her among a select group of 13 actresses who have won an Oscar for a role in a film that also won Best Picture. Her win for All the King's Men in 1949 was especially remarkable because it was her first film role, a rare feat in the movie industry. Mercedes McCambridge gave a memorable performance as the voice of the demon in The Exorcist. To create the chilling sound, she used a mix of apple and raw egg, which she regurgitated to mimic the sound of the character's vomiting. In Giant, she played Luz Benedict and shared an exciting moment with James Dean. After finishing his scenes, Dean got a new car and took McCambridge for a quick ride, which ended with studio police stopping them for speeding. In another scene from Giant, McCambridge's character is involved in a tense negotiation over land inheritance, where James Dean performs a lasso trick that nods to a classic film. Mr. Deeds goes to town, adding a layer of homage to the performance. Mercedes McCambridge showed her acting skills on Broadway, earning a Tony Award nomination in 1972 for her role in The Love Suicide at Schofield Barracks. Her talent caught the eye of Orson Welles during a casual lunch, leading to an impromptu casting in Touch of Evil. Welles himself styled her for the part of a gang leader, cutting her hair and giving her a leather jacket to wear. She delivered a chilling performance with just one line I want to watch. McCambridge also played Emma Small in Johnny Guitar, and later, she used her voice to bring to life the demon in The Exorcist, showing her range and skill in voice acting. Mercedes McCambridge was a talented actress known for her strong voice and powerful roles. She brought many characters to life on screen and stage. Let's honor her memory by sharing our favorite moments from her career. Did her roles inspire you or leave a strong impression? Please comment below with your thoughts. If you enjoy remembering the great talents that have shaped our movies and shows like this video, share it with friends and subscribe for more discussions like this one. Your support helps us keep celebrating the artists who entertain and inspire us. Thank you for watching and joining the conversation.